Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Dr. Ghosh, and I'm back today with another very inspirational video for all of you. Friends, the inspirational Indian woman I'm introducing you to today is Leela Rao Dayal, the first female tennis player of India to win a match at the Wimbledon Championships. She was not only an excellent tennis player, but an author, mountaineer, playwright, dancer, and she was bilingual in her books, playwrights, she wrote in English and Sanskrit. An inspirational Indian woman who I'll be sharing more about with you today on the video. But before that, I wanted to give you a brief about the channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I started this channel two years back and today we have got over 1080 subscribers or transformationists as I like to call them on the video and we have got over 34,000 views and 378 videos already uploaded on the channel. My mission is to ensure that we transform the thinking patterns of the present and coming generations so that they live by the eternal human principles. These principles such as honesty, integrity, loyalty, respect for womanhood, diversity, are eternal, do not change over time and place. And living by these principles are the only way forward for a conflict-ridden mankind. Towards this mission, I share with you true inspirational stories of mankind living at their very best on your YouTube channel. I also have a WhatsApp and Facebook group where I share daily motivation. The links of all three are in the video description. Please join us. I request all those of you who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends and family. Encourage them to subscribe. These are motivational, inspirational stories, moral stories, which are sure to transform the thinking patterns of the present and coming generations. Coming back to Le Leela Rao Dayal. She was born in the British Raj on 19 December 1911 in the Bombay Presidency of India, united India under the British Raj. She was the daughter of Raghavendra Rao, a physician, and her mother was Pandita Kesham Rao, a Sanskrit poet and a prophetic tennis player. The mother, Shama Rao, was among the early players of tennis in India. She won the single title at the Bombay Presidency Hard Court Championship in 1927. Leela was educated in India, England and France and in 1943 married Harishwar Rao, an ICS officer who later carried on to becoming the Indian ambassador to US and Nepal. The love of mountaineering drew them both together. He died in 1964 and Leela settled in Raniket in Uttarakhand, India. Her house was inherited by her nephew the Oxford University Press editor, Ravi Dayal. Let me share some more details in depth about her. She was an author and she wrote several books, poems and playwrights on ancient and modern classical dance. She wrote in both Sanskrit and English. In 1950, she published a Natya Chandrakatha, handwritten bilingual treatise on Indian classical dance forms. She translated many Sanskrit poems written by her mother 
and made them into plays in Sanskrit. Her mother and father were both from the Holkar families of Indore, the princely families from Indore. Mother will forever be remembered, Leela's mother K. Shama Rao for the modernization movement in Sanskrit literature. Leela's mother Shama Rao also became a voice for India to her herald the Gandhian struggle for freedom. Her poems such as Satyagraha Gita, Uttra Satyagraha Gita and Sarva Swarajya Vijaya are by themselves instigators for the freedom movement of India. She wrote several short stories to encourage the masses to join the freedom struggle. Leela's mother, Shama in addition, was an excellent tennis player and in the 20s, Shama Rao along with Amrit Kaur who later became India's first health minister became among India's finest doubles female tennis players. As I shared earlier, 1927, Shama won the single title for Bombay Pre Presidency Hard Court Championship. Leela was created in the mold of her mother and in 1931 she won the first ladies single title all india championship beating lena mckenna thereafter she lost in two finals in a row to jenny sandison who was the first woman of indian origin to participate in the wimbledon After these two defeats, she did not give up hope and came back to six titles in a row, 1936 to 1943. What an achievement for an Indian woman. 1934, Leela participated in the Wimbledon Championships to win a match there. The first Indian female player to win a Wimbledon match. She beat Gladys Southwell after a titanic struggle at 4-6, 10-8 and 6-2. She also went on to play in the French Opens. 1935, she returned to Wimbledon but lost in the first round. She won multiple times in the All India Championships 1931-36 40, 41, and 1942. She was, in 1931, the winner of the singles title in the West of India Championships and 1935 won the Hampshire Lawn Championship, 1937 Northern Indian Championship. Her favorite shot was the straight backhand. She also wrote multiple books on Manipur called as Manipuri Dances in 1951, Nitya Manjuri in 1948, Jayanti Kamau Niha in 2011 and Bhaktapura Ratnam in 1980. Post her marriage to her husband, Harishwar Dhyal, the love of mountaineering grew and they together scaled mount, multiple mountains and did trekking on the Himalayas. They made several trips to Sikkim and it is said that they agreed to the posting to Nepal so that they could do Himalayan treks. People who knew her called her out to be a generous diplomat and a person who could easily connect with people. Leela Rao, an author, the first Indian female tennis player to win at Wimbledon, a match at Wimbledon, 
a classical dancer, an author, a violinist. She also won the heart of the Dalai Lama with her simplicity. A prophetic Sanskrit writer and mountaineer. A person who would always be remembered for her work in Sanskrit. Friends, I am sure you enjoy these transformational videos which I share with you on your favorite channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Please subscribe to the channel and also encourage your friends to subscribe to the channel. The very next video which I will be bringing to you on the channel is about a freedom fighter who wrote the Arti Om Jai Jagadish to inspire the masses to revolt against the British. I will meet you soon. Till we meet again, good luck, all the best.